good afternoon to everybody and welcome to the latest in the webinar series, Relevance Developed on the Topic of Weld Fumes. I'm John Reed, Managing Director here at Relevant, and I want to thank all of you for taking some time to join us today. Um, I've got Greg Carmichael on the line, too. Greg's the VP of our East Region sales team, and uh, also Trevor Kendall. Trevor's our Technical Director for Ambient System Design. Both have been with the company for many years now and have been closely involved in successfully implementing uh, many of the ambient systems that we've installed across uh, North America for our clients. Today I'll be discussing uh, what you need to know about air cleaning and ventilation on a facility-wide basis. And I'll start with a brief overview of how well fumes are produced. Most on this call would be well aware of this, but um, also the worker health and safety program problems associated with well fumes. <clears throat> I'll review what you need to know when considering an ambient air cleaning and ventilation system, and I'll discuss the importance of conducting a, an airflow mapping program before selecting and installing an ambient system. Finally, uh, we'll review what should happen to weld fumes once they've been removed from the production area. As promised, uh, we have plenty of time for questions at the end of this formal presentation, and also another thing you should be aware of. Uh, if you weren't able to attend uh, our webinar earlier on uh, weld fume capture at the source, I highly recommend that you visit our archives and check it out when you get a chance. Um, ambient air cleaning tends to work best in conjunction with source capture fume removal. So you'll find some useful information in that webinar session uh, that we conducted earlier. We have a lot to cover here, so let's get into our topic, which is ambient fume capture. Ambient fume capture is also known as general ventilation. And um, for anyone who's not aware, it really means that you're generally cleaning up the air inside the plant. Ambient fume capture systems can be used in conjunction with source capture systems or when source extraction is not possible. So if you can't extract the uh, contaminants right at the source, ambient fume capture is uh, the way that you need to go. And this happens sometimes when you're welding large weldments or using overhead cranes, or when the plant is uh, tasked with welding different parts in different locations all the time. Ambient fume capture is also advisable when uh, your ceiling space is limited or it's otherwise not possible to install the ductwork needed for uh, some of the larger source capture systems. Uh, and in some cases, the plant will need to use both source extraction and ambient extraction systems for the best effect. An example of this uh, might be a plant with 50 welders, but where only five of the welders are overexposed to weld fumes. Uh, so you may choose to use a source capture system for those five workers that are overexposed, and then install an ambient system across the entire facility to reduce the amount of overall haze in the plant. 